what up world how's everybody doing today tonight tomorrow as i always say whatever realm dimension wherever the hell you're at when you're listening to this i hope you're all doing great and feeling blessed first of all just got to give a quick thank uh thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel i know we're new and um been trying to do my best learning as i go but the support's been amazing you guys are awesome comments been wonderful been learning a lot and um just can't thank you enough you know i was trying to think to myself if, if i really wanted to keep doing this and you guys have definitely been the reason and the drive and the want to do this but anyways thank you again and all that little foo-foo love stuff out of the way let's get to it well we all remember commercials right Usually most of this stuff's about TV and movies and whatnot, but I want you to go back. I want you to step back and try to remember. I want you to try to go back and remember those things in between all that, those commercials. And I want you to try to remember cigarette commercials. Anyone born before 1990? Hell, I even remember them in the 80s during Saturday morning cartoons. And I bet some of y'all do also. So how is this? Because according to Google... And all other forms of info that I'm reading, cigarette commercials were banned in 1970. That's funny, because like I said, I was born in 1980, and I can sure remember them. All the way up into the 90s. Alright, so here's what I found. In 1970, President Nixon signed a legislation banning cigarette ads on TV and radio. On The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, December 31st, 1970, at 11.59 p.m., right before 1971, a Virginia Slim commercial aired, supposedly being the last one on TV. And I bet uh, an Ed McMahon publisher clearinghouse commercial came on right after that. Mm -hmm. For another video, I'll be getting to that soon enough, y'all. That one's been bugging me a little bit, because I know everyone remembers looking for his face in the mail. I can remember the commercials saying, you could be the next winner, huh? Horrible Ed McMahon impression, but y'all get the point. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so for cigarette commercials being banned, there sure are a good bit remaining you can find in view. Some made after even 2013. But most being after 1971, all the way up into the 90s. So what the hell's going on here, I keep asking myself. Because everywhere I'm looking, everything says the last commercial aired that night on The Tonight Show. From the Marlboro Man, to that adventure guy for Camo. You know, the, Mar the Marlboro Man, he was cool. You know, he had that whole Sam Elliott looking thing. Actually, I think it was Sam Elliott at one point. Kind of had that whole beef, it's what's for dinner kind of thing going on. The dude. Everybody remembers the dude. But you had the camel guy. He'd always go out in the woods doing his little adventure thing because you smoke camel cigarettes. Obviously, that makes you Mr. Adventure Guy. And even Virginia Slims. They had commercials still. And that one was supposedly the last one from 1970. The funny part is you can find some of these old commercials remaining. And I did. I found a couple that were after 1970. The weird part is I noticed as my research went on and I kept trying to view these things, it seemed like they went from English to another language. And the more I keep finding, like I said, the more in a different language now. But I know these commercials remain somewhere. It's like other things we've seen with the Mandela effect, like eventually it goes and tries to clean up its mistakes, erasing the residual evidence. I mean, you know, like there's things, Houston, we've had a problem. Houston, we have a problem. The tidy cat, tidy cats, these residuals showed up and then now they're gone to history. Now, this is why I always say, hang on to your damn memories and trust them. It seems people involved in the ME and other believers are the last hope of hanging on to the past lost to history. That belongs to us. I know some people out there may hear some of the things we involved with the enemy say, 
And they're probably telling themselves, so what? What's the big deal? What's so wrong with something missing an S or having an S now or having an A instead of where there was no A? But those are big deals if you think about it because those are things of our past and history that are changed. And as insignificant as it may seem to others, if any one of those things are true, and I believe they are, that makes it real. That makes it happening, which needs to be addressed. But there are large changes out there. Now, like I said, those may seem small to other people, but if they're real, it makes this program real. It makes it real. And like other programs, I worry. Because what if, like other things, this is just a beta test? What if something else is coming, something we can't even imagine or comprehend? Mandela 2.0, right around the corner. Or what if it's already started? Now, I'm not trying to just scare people and do that crap, but I'm, you know, these are those what ifs that definitely, I believe, go through my head and other people's. Now, people keep saying that we're living in an amazing time. It's a great time to be alive, and I can't agree more with that. That's why I also say don't forget why we do what we do, why we fight the fight that we fight. And I say enjoy every minute of it. You never know what tomorrow brings or takes away. Now, with all that being said, I've also noticed other things with cigarettes that don't seem to add up. According to History Now, the federal government told cigarette manufacturers to add warning labels and also to other tobacco products, this starting all the way back in 1938, and also saying that the warning labels were added in the 50s and 60s. It doesn't seem right to me. Seeing how makers like Camel had ads like smoked by more doctors than any other cigarette, I don't remember warning labels until the 90s. You know, with ads like that, they're telling people, oh, well, it's smoked by doctors. It, it's okay. It's healthy. It's good to do. So why would you have these warning labels? If you're telling people that doctors smoke it. Also, supposedly warning labels on food products, list of ingredients. This all started in 1938 also. This doesn't sound right because now I remember my grandma having these. uh, They may have been cheap and generic, but they just said like what it was. I don't know if this was just poor folk, but they didn't have no ingredients or what was in it written on them. I know some of y'all remember that too. Now, if I remember right, too, it wasn't that long ago tobacco tobacco makers went to court about all this, adding the labels, adding the may cause cancer labels. What I've always remembered was smoking wasn't that bad until the 80s and 90s. I can remember smoking even in hospitals when I was a kid. I can remember ashtrays down the hallways, doctors walking around smoking, nurses smoking. It's because nobody thought it was that bad. Secondhand smoke wasn't even that worried about. And back in the 50s and 60s, especially, before that, it was pushed. It was being considered healthy and cool to smoke. I mean, even Jackie Kennedy smoked during her pregnancy because it was thought not to be that bad. It was okay. Doctors would tell them, hey, it's fine. Yeah, you can smoke during pregnancy. It's like tobacco companies went back and tried to clean up the mess they made. They tried to make themselves look better like they didn't do anything wrong. Like they've been warning us all along this whole time. Now, I don't know what's going on here. My memories don't match up with what I'm seeing and reading now. The way they make it sound, these companies have always had labels, warned us, always looked out for our, for the people. Yeah, right. (laughs) I can remember when these labels showed up. I can remember me and my friends commenting about it, looking at the cigarette pack saying, oh, they're going to give you cancer. Like, you know, we didn't know. Now, as far as these commercials, no way they were banned from TV in 1971. I know I remember them, and I guarantee some of you remember the same. And there's some proof remaining out there. Now, I don't know for how long till that proof's gone. So everybody do your research fast. Like I said, I keep looking, but I can't find anything that says differently than this, the 1971 ban. Now, I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if I'm missing something. If there's anything you guys remember that I or or I'm missing, let me know. Comment, please. Now, I imagine, though, a lot of you remember the same as me. This is not the way things went down. 
Every day it seems a little bit more is changed, taken away, and forgotten. Like I keep saying, hang on to your memories. Don't forget the past. We cannot trust what we're always being told by the ones running the program. Or they may not be running the program, but they damn sure know about it. I see a lot of people arguing on comments, videos, and all kinds of stuff. We can't do that. We have to come together, work together, to get these things right. Not just with the MEs, but all aspects of life. Don't give them what they want, y'all. Don't give them that divi divide and conquer, because that's what they're doing. That's how they win. No one will ever listen to a bunch of single voices, but as one group speaking, one can't be ignored. So try and remember that before you so quickly take down someone for having an opinion or just a comment on something. Try to have a civil conversation. See if that doesn't take us further. I'll chill out with all the kumbaya stuff. I'm just saying, treat others with the same respect you want yourself. And see if that doesn't get us further with things. And see if we don't figure out things better. Y'all, like I've been saying recently, I appreciate everything. You guys have been awesome out there. Subscribers, I appreciate it. Spread the word. Let's try to get more. Let's try to get these numbers up. I love getting the word out there. And I love hearing you guys' opinion. I've learned so much more from y'all than anything else. Let's just keep it going. And like I always say, Y'all stay incredible. Y'all stay blessed. See ya.